Here in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can do the payment using your credit card uh, in PayPal. So actually, this is the latest feature that has been added by PayPal that uh, this is actually the smart payment button for uh, going through the credit card payment process if you don't have any PayPal account. So there are people who are facing the problem uh, while doing the payment if they don't have any PayPal account. So uh, I think uh, in Shopify, we, are, we also have the problem that if we have uh, some products and we want it to sell, and if the customer has not any PayPal account, he will not able to do the payment. Why? Because he is interested in uh, credit card or debit card payment. But for now, we only support those customers we uh, who have the PayPal account. So that's why we are uh, very much uh, happy about integrating the credit card payment uh, button. Why? Because if some uh, someone has someone don't have the PayPal account, then he will able to do the payment using that specific credit and debit card button. So keep watching this video. I am going through the whole process that how you can do uh, into your own website. Let me show you how you will be integrating this. So first of all, we have to enable the PayPal account optional setting from our PayPal account. So first of all, you have to go to PayPal. Uh, so www.paypal.com. So here you have to click on login. You have to enter your email address and password and then click on login. Once you are successfully logged in, you have to click on this gear button for setting. Here you will be getting the option of selling tools, click over it. And here we have the option of website preferences, you have to click on update. And then scroll down. Here we have PayPal account optional. So what does it mean? It means that if you are enabling this, then uh, if some user, if your customer has not any uh, PayPal account, then he will be getting a guest checkout uh, option for doing the payment. So he would able to do the payment using credit card or debit card. So make sure that this should be on. So now we have to uh, log it out. I'm going to close it and now you have to go to developer.paypal.com and here you have to log into dashboard. Again you have to enter your PayPal account uh, email address then password and then click on login. First of all you have to create uh, accounts sandbox accounts because we are going to do the testing first and then we will be implementing into the live. So you have to uh, create an account. Already we have two accounts. These are default accounts of uh, one is for business account and one is for personal account. But we are going to create new ones. So this one is the personal account first. And again, one more account we needed. Click on create account. And then we have a business account. So finally, we have created two accounts. One is personal and another is business account. Now you have to go to my apps and credentials. Here you will be creating an app. Let me name it test. Test app. And I am going to uh, select a business account. So this is, uh, there are two business accounts, but uh, the account which I created just now is going to be selected. And then create app. Once we are done with the creation, then we will be getting a client ID that we will be copying from here uh, to our uh, code, right? So 
we have to go to PayPal smart button checkout demo. You have to search this on internet and you will be getting a link developer.paypal.com forward slash demo forward slash checkout. So here we have PayPal as well as debit or credit card. So it means that if we have the PayPal account then obviously we will be doing the payment through PayPal but if we haven't then we can choose debit or credit card. So let me change here $13 and again I have to change the client ID from here. So firstly I have to copy from here and paste it over here. And now I'm going to copy this whole code from here and going to paste it onto my on server. So this is my local host actually XAMPP, htdocs, paypal and index.html. So here I am going to paste it and then save it. I am going to run it out. So here we have localhost forward slash paypal so finally I got paypal as well as debit or credit card but for now I am interested in debit or credit card so I already done the implementation of a, a smart payment button with only this button actually so I have another video if you don't have uh, seen that you should also see uh, in the playlist or you can go to my channel and uh, you will be finding this uh, finding the video right so uh, currently I am interested in doing the payment through debit or credit card so one more thing I have to do is I am going to log into my uh, sandbox business account which I have created just now here you have seen accounts yeah here here I have accounts uh, business account and personal account that I have uh, created so let me copy this business account first and you have to go to sandbox.paypal.com and then sign in over here and I have to take the password as well so here we have the password click on login once you are logged in then you will be getting uh, some test amount this is for the sake of testing only here we have 5000 US dollars alright so let's do the payment now so I am going to enter some uh, test uh, details so this is the card number and here I have some expire one two three and I have filled all the details here and you have to click on pay now I got the error here something went wrong but let me try once again So this is the actual uh, PayPal guest checkout screen which we were expecting actually. So here we have some amount and we have country, card number and billing address and then we have uh, contact information 
and finally you will be getting the information like save your payment info for faster checkout on this device so if you are selecting this uh, specific uh, checkbox save my payment info and create a paypal account then of course whatever card or and uh, the other information you will be uh, have, you will be filling over here that would be saved and your account will be created but for now i am not interested in uh, creating an account so let me fill the the uh, details quickly i have filled all the details very quickly so you can see that here i have filled all the details so now i have to click on pay now so finally the transaction completed by abdul so here we can uh, click on okay so the transaction has been completed now it means that we have successfully uh, done the payment through our credit card so let me see over here if you will refresh let me again put the credentials this is my sandbox account from here you have to copy this and paste it over here so finally we got the payment payment from abdul bari so this is the 13 us dollar uh, and here you can see that previously we have seen 5000 and for now this is 5012.33 so if you will see the receipt you will find out that whole details would be over here yeah this is the name and this is the test uh, address that we have put over here and complete amount as well and other details uh, as well so you can also go through all the details which we are getting uh, at the time but for now uh, but for now we were interested to uh, see the payment through our credit card so i think that uh, you uh, you got the uh, understanding of how the uh, how we are going to do the integration but make sure that uh, there are some problems uh, in uh, integrating this credit card checkout as well because paypal uh, is not responsible for the transaction because there are some risks uh, why because we haven't any paypal account so paypal is not uh, able to identify the user so at that moment on the way if there is some attacker then there are the chances that uh, uh, you could uh, means uh, you could face some problem uh, because the paypal has not your account and uh, they could not able to uh, give you the security on the way so i hope you uh, got the basic understanding of integration so if you are facing any problem of integration or something like that uh, i am also doing the integration of stripe and uh, micro payment as well so if you are facing the problem in any of them you can contact me i have already mentioned the uh, whatsapp number in my uh, description below so you can connect me anytime Thank you so much for watching this video. All the links of my video courses are below in the description which are absolutely free. So in the next video we would learn new and wonderful things. Please subscribe this channel firstly to get the information of updated videos. In the comment section you can write your feedback about the video and also write your queries if you have any. Have a nice day ahead.